You are listening to episode 188 of the Peaceful Mind Podcast. Welcome to the Peaceful Mind Podcast, a place for creating the peace of mind you need to be the best mom you are created by God to be. If you want to bring more balance, more joy, and more peace to your motherhood, this is the place for you. I'm your host, certified life coach and Catholic mom, Danielle Tienel. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let's get started. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of the podcast. This is going to be a short, sweet episode this week because I want it to be just poignant and impactful around a subject that I know that us Christian, faith-filled, in my case, member of the Catholic Church mom, in that how much prayer plays a role in our life. And I just wanted to talk about the subject about the answers to prayer, the answers we get from our prayer. So we're just going to explore a little bit this important subject so that you can take away some thoughts about this to help you have more peace of mind around the answers that you get in your prayer life. So the simple thing that I wanted to get across is that God answers prayers in three ways. We either get a yes, a no, or a wait a while, or maybe some people want to call it the not yet. So let's just talk about and discuss the these three answers that we get to prayers and think about how we react and respond to these answers, especially having you think about what your current prayers are in your life right now with what's going on in your life, what your circumstances are, what stage of motherhood you are in and, and, and think about it from these three ways. So God in his infinite wisdom, he doesn't always give us what we want but he certainly provides what we need. I think we all can agree to that. And his answers may not come in the form we expect, but they do always serve our highest good. When you think and believe that, when you hear me say it and listen to it, how do you feel? Do you feel peace when you know that They might not always come in the form we expect or want, but they do always serve our highest good. Amazing. So if anything, keep that top of mind to bring you peace. So when we receive a yes answer to our prayers, we often do feel a sense of peace. And that should be an indicator. Like, do I feel a sense of peace? Then I have this kind of deep knowing it's a yes. But remember, a yes from God doesn't come with a detailed instruction manual. So we might still just get a yes in our hearts and through our sense of peace, but you're still probably going to have to get out of your comfort zone maybe, but definitely take action and sometimes challenge yourself or figure out the next steps and path on your own. So for example, if you're a mom praying for, let's say, a better job. You might get a yes that it's time to leave, it's time to get another job, and you might feel a peace about that. But the work that you then, after getting the yes of applying for the job, you may be the interview, maybe getting rejected from one or trying another, it, it just doesn't mean a yes doesn't guarantee that the journey will be easy. You'll have to update your resume, maybe prepare for interviews, manage your time effectively to be able to balance the family and maybe new responsibilities. But if you keep in mind that it was a yes and you remember that peaceful feeling that this is what God wanted for you, you can keep that at the forefront as you move down the path and take the actions necessary to get to that completed side that, that that was the answer to the yes to that prayer. So now let's just kind of pivot a little bit to the no. 
a lot of times we can get a no from God, and this can be hard to accept. But rest assured, if it is a no, we go back to that first kind of thought about it being for our highest good. But I also want you to look for the lesson because God sometimes shuts doors, but he does so only to lead us to the right open door. So in the moment, it feels like a no, but the no is leading us to our next yes. So for instance, if you are like praying for your child's admission to a particular school, I can remember adding my prayers last year when my girls, or maybe it was two years ago when they were going through their college lessons. And there was one, you know, college that one daughter in particular really, really wanted to go to. And so I did focus my prayer there. The answer came with a no, a door was shut and it looks like, and feels like a setback, but we know we will have those in life. But I knew that there was a lesson here. And that lesson is that it could lead that no could lead my child to another school that would be even better and they would thrive even more than even my human mind could comprehend at the moment. And I can say that that is absolutely true of the case that worked out for my daughters. And so now I'm in a place where I can look back and say, oh, I'm really glad we got that no. Um, Okay, now let's talk about the third one, the explanation that we might get of from our prayers could be wait a while or not yet. And that answer can be frustrating because it lacks clarity. So we're not sure that it's a yes, it's the door isn't completely shut to make it a clear no. And then what this causes us to do is have to go into tapping into the fruits of the spirit especially patience. But patience, what we know often leads to unexpected blessings. So a mom praying for a peaceful family vacation may not be able to take it immediately due to your various circumstances, and it might feel unfair, but waiting for the right time could lead to an even more enjoyable and meaningful vacation. And I want to offer my own example here when I said a prayer and the answer was not yet. And it was back when I wanted to start our family, when we were trying to have a baby and it took longer than my perfectionist brain, mine, you know, that had everything all planned out. But look at how my answer, when I would say, please, Lord, may I, will you bless us with a child? His answer was not yet. It was, you're going to have to wait a while. I needed to have some patience, but when I did, it led to an unexpected blessing, something that just was not in my realm of thinking at the time when I was so focused on, I want to have a baby now. And that is that I was blessed with twins, two babies. And so that is an example of where I know that the answer to my prayers was not yet or, and wait a while, but because of that answer, I was given unexpected and wonderful blessing because of it. And yeah, it did feel unfair. It did feel like I didn't want to wait for the right time. I wanted it now. That was, you know, understandably, that is how our Lower brain and human brain reacts like a little baby, a toddler having a tantrum, like no, now, now. And of course, our our society has set us up and all of the, the things that are built and, you know, technology to make things easier and just right there at the tip of our fingertips. So it is harder these days to cultivate that patience or to hear that not now, you're going to have to wait a while kind of thing. I mean, let's get honest here. When you get used to having like, you know, prime delivered within, you know, two days, and then all of a sudden you find out there's going to be something you have to wait two, three weeks for. (laughs) Our brain has a little tantrum, right? So I just wanted to give you this episode today to help you recognize 
the answers and say, what is the answers? Because, you know, every time you ask, you do receive. And a a lot of times I want to invite you that we do have to take a moment and and quietly um, decipher, discern for ourselves what the answer is. Is it a yes? Do I feel a yes? Do I feel the peace about it? Is it a no? And I'm just trying to like pretend that it's not a no, but I could, I could lean into it's a no, but then that means that there's another open door down the road, one that's probably even better. Or do you feel that it's saying that it is a yes, but it's just still a not yet. It's going to just have you wait a while. So what we want to do is we want to call on a combination of things. We want to call on a combination of our faith. We want to call on that patience that I talked about. And then we want to call on self-awareness, which again, this is where coaching and learning the skills to be the watcher of your brain and your mind and your thoughts and really um, dive deep into how this is affecting your emotional life and how you're showing up. Like when you know these, this will really help you be able to then respond to these answers to prayer in a trusting way, in a more courageous way, and especially a take action way. Because once we get one of these three answers, it's still up to us. This is the agency that God gave us here on earth was to then take action because that's how we get the results. So we must remain patient and trust God's timing and be ready to act when the time comes. So I would love to invite you to take a moment to reflect on the prayers you're currently lifting up and ponder on the answers that you're receiving. Are they a yes? Are they a no? Or are they a not yet? You have to wait a while. And what lessons are you learning there? And how are you currently reacting to those answers? And what steps can you take next from those answers? Again, remember, whatever answer you receive, it's always for your good. We want to trust in God's wisdom and timing and believe in your own strength and capability to navigate that journey. And if you don't feel like you have the strength and capability to navigate that journey, to take actions on the things that you actually want and are praying for, then of course, I invite you to connect with me and allow me to show you the power of these life coaching tools and strategies and what happens when you apply them on the specifics with your life. I can guide, support, hold you accountable and, and teach you things that just right now you don't know that will be so helpful. Okay. So as we explored these three ways of how God answers prayers, I hope you felt some peace in it and are also ready to take some action. So until next time, my dear listeners, stay blessed. And I will be so excited to be back here next week to talk to you again. Take care. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Peaceful Mind Podcast. Are you ready to take everything I teach you here and put it to work for your own life? to really learn how to have peace of mind no matter what is happening around you? If so, I'd love to have you as a client. As your coach, this is where you'll get personal and focused time on your own mind using life coaching tools, concepts, and proven life transforming wisdom, all through a faith-filled lens. To learn more about how we can work together, come on over to danielletienel.com. There, you'll see how to sign up for a free coaching consult and learn how to get started. Until next time, peace be with you always.